Bam 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 bam. Welcome back, my friend. This is BJJ Brick. Quick. This is your quick jujitsu podcast. My name is Byron. This week we're talking about rolling with big people. And it's like, well, one of the most important things <laughs> when rolling with big people is you know with the cover here. And it's getting to the ground. I've definitely had my fair share of unpleasant experiences attempting takedowns on somebody who's 40% heavier than me. 30% heavier. So just... <laughs> that's a, That could be a thing. So I do have a recommendation here for the takedown that you will commonly attempt on somebody who's got some significant size advantage on you. And it's that arm drag. Most of my takedowns, I like to do both gi and no gi. That's a, that's just kind of my training philosophy for myself. I don't recommend it for anybody in particular. Uh, due to my schedule, I train. Uh, I basically train when I can. And I'm not targeting one over the other. So I want to be able to do something no matter which class I walk into. An arm drag is definitely a no key move, and it's definitely a key move. So here's the thing about that arm drag. And if you if you're not familiar with the arm drag, you're you're fairly new with takedowns, or you're just not comfortable with it, go go do a little research. Not that I'm not gonna say it's not a hard takedown to do, but the technical movements are fairly simple. And so, it, it, you know, it, people can deal with it and 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 work work around you as you try it or whatever. But um, the penalty for missing your arm drag is usually not that bad. Like if I shot a, a double leg on a on a person who's got a hundred pounds on me, and they sprawl, that's a decent penalty for having an attempted takedown. You know, I don't particularly want to be under there very long. The arm drag, not so much. So as you do the arm drag, and you could just picture yourself doing an arm drag to a child. How's that going to go? Well, you're going you're gonna to grab a hold of that arm, and you're going to drag that thing. <laughs> and the child is going to spin in front of you until their back is exposed. Okay? Uh, I think we could all visualize what we're talking about here. So if, if the child did the arm drag to you... And you get a firm, you know, planted stance, and they start to do that. You're not going to spin. You're not going to necessarily even move. So what the child would have to do is have to go around you. Same thing with the grappling with a bigger person. I can't expect with my 190-ish pound frame to get somebody who's 250 to move when I pull on their arm. I'm not going to, but I I will move. I, I will start the arm drag and start to circle around behind them trying to secure the position. It's the same way, guys, from uh, from the guard. <laughs> if, if you're arm dragging a, a child <laughs> from your guard, just spin them around. You don't have to get off the ground. Your, 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 your bucket's stay planted. <laughs> but if it's somebody your own size or bigger, you've got to get up. To a degree, and if they're a lot bigger, they're not going to move at all. So I think that's a that's a pretty simple way to initiate a, a positive exchange on the feet that will end in a takedown. Would be that arm drag, get to the back, and then work from there. Once you get back there, take your time. You're you're really in a good position there, and uh, you can work your takedowns. <laughs> That's my preferred method of trying to deal with a significantly heavier person than me on the ground is arm drag. And you may have to attempt a couple of times. Maybe it won't work out ever on somebody. But uh, the idea is as I'm dragging, I know I'm going to have to be the one that moves. I can't count on them having a – they're not going to have a crappy base. They're going to be firmly planted. They're going to be a good wrestler. They're going to they're gonna react. But if I move appropriately – Still possibly get that arm track. I think next time we'll talk about a submission. They like the target on the 
the bigger people. <laughs> uh, guys, I want you to have a great day, my friend. Stay sweaty.